Sometimes you want to hide your widgets from the widget tree like this or you want to have here this opacity changed and we want to look at both examples. Let's start with this example and we start here with the visibility. So if we click on this button, this should hide. Therefore, we go here to our top and create a new field is visible. And then we go to the object which we want to hide, in this case, this build box here. And we wrap simply a visibility around it. And here we put this flag visible. And then we simply put here our is visible flag inside. And by default, our box is here visible. And now we want to toggle this is visible field. Therefore, we go here to the toggle visibility button. This is exactly this button here on the right side. And here inside of this on clicked, we want then to toggle this field. So we simply change here the is visibility flag. After you have hot restarted your application, you can press on this button. To change here only the visibility is not enough. You also need to put here this set state around and then you need to hot restart your application. And now you can press here on this toggle visibility and you see that it takes this visibility box out and we can also put it again inside. If the visibility is away, you see we have here some more spacing and this is because we have here our box which is not visible anymore. So you can think of it is removed. And then we have here two boxes of height and they are here 32 pixels and that's also what we want to change. Therefore, we simply remove here this height and we want to put it here inside of our visibility and simply wrap this into this box and we call it here container. The last thing is only to set here then the height inside. So we set the height under this build box widget with 16 pixels. And if we do this and toggle the visibility, you see that we only have here now 16 pixels and not 32. Let's also build the second case so we can also change the opacity and then we have here some space between. Therefore, we go here again to the top and create a new field is transparent. After it, we go to the widget which we want to change. So in this case, the opacity widget and we wrap here this opacity around and inside we have this opacity property where we simply put our is transparent inside and if our widget is transparent, then we set the opacity to zero. So it should be not showing and if it is not transparent, then it should show and we simply put here then the one inside so it is 100% visible. The last thing is only to change here this is transparent field. So we want to toggle it and therefore we go here to our toggle button, which is exactly this blue button here. And we then call here the set state to update our UI. And here inside of it, we simply toggle the is transparent field. And now we click here on this toggle opacity and you see it is hidden. However, the size of this widget is still inside and if you use toggle visibility, then the widget will disappear completely. The last thing to mention is if this opacity widget is for example a button. So in my case, I put here a gesture detector around this opacity widget and every time if I press on it, you see that we have here this snack bar showing opacity is clickable. However, if we toggle here the opacity and then we click here in this space, you see that it is still clickable and you can simply click here and it will get all the click events, even if it is not visible. If you don't like this behavior for the opacity widget, you simply can wrap it with an ignore pointer widget and inside of it, you put here simply the same is transparent field inside. And now if I click here on this opacity, it will show completely and this is cool. However, if I simply toggle the opacity and now we click here, then this widget will not get the click events anymore. If you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!